from a very young age, I wanted to find a place that really existed at the nexus of private sector innovation and public sector impact. And I'm here to tell you, I've tried many, many different places. I.O. by far is the best place to be if that's ultimately how you want to make a living professionally. For me, I think increasingly, I've come to appreciate that it's about conviction and commitment. That if you can give people a sense of the mission that you want to achieve, and if you can show them that you are committed not only to leading them in respect of that mission, but also having their back, good days and bad days, as you're trying to achieve that mission together, you're acting as a leader ought to. To remember that 100% of one's self-worth can't be with reference to what we do from nine to five. And finding opportunities to continue to educate myself, uh, to do things that not only um, you know, please my family, but please me, allow me to continue to grow and learn. Uh, me with a small clutch of people have actually been running. Uh, we go from the office here at One Dundas up to Castle Loma and back. Running is a big part of my physical uh, regimen uh, because it's so portable for me. I was a management consultant traveling the world for many, many years and it was the one thing that I could do anywhere that I went. Commit, ultimately, to learning everything that you can about this organization, about the things that we do. The breadth of what we do here is truly astonishing. I mean, even as compared to some of the major private sector entities that you might be familiar with, the lines of business, the problems that we solve are incredibly broad. And the ability for lateral movement as well as upwards movement here at Infrastructure Ontario is just something that I've never seen in any other organization. So be deeply inquisitive, right, about what everybody around you is doing and follow people who you like to work with.